very disappointing that in Africa we have a lot of scholars, but we have failed to still understand the basic principle of forces of Arminism. In fact, sometimes I am very glad that I am a person with Arminism, but sometimes I feel very disappointed that I am an African and a Ghanaian for that matter. Because of our lack of understanding of basic things. In fact, Albinism is a genetic condition. It is a genetic condition. Albinism is a gene that is carried by both man and woman. And when the career of Albinism being a man happen to meet a woman who is also a carrier of the gene, then there is opportunity that the two of them will have to produce at least one person with albinism. The albinism is not a sickness. It is a condition and it is not something that is transferable unless you have the genes. Sometimes in Ghana, person even feel to shake hands with persons with albinism because they believe or think that maybe if they shake hands with persons with albinism, they will also give birth to persons with albinism. Something that is in the blood, how do you transfer it by handshake? It is not like virus that we all do. It is not it's a condition. And the condition will have to be fulfilled by the two people, that is a man and a woman, having the same genes within them. So even if one person has and the other doesn't have, sometimes it will be difficult to produce some. What are some of the challenges persons with albinism face? This time I am not going to look at the traditional point of view of people's perception. We are looking at real issues. See, persons with albinism, as I said earlier, has problems with sight. Most of us have low vision. Unfortunately, the more one exposes his or herself to the sun, the more the vision becomes low. So if you are having the condition, then you tend to expose yourself to the sun, maybe you can see well at a certain point, you continue to expose yourself to the sun, your sight will be diminished. You may not, but it will get to your point, the sight will totally diminish and uh, you, it will be, let me say, worse than it used to be. So indirectly, I am trying to advise my colleagues and their families here that if you have a child with albinism or you are even a person with albinism yourself, then you have to avoid direct contact with the sun. And even if you put uh, if you put on sun protection, protection clothing or you apply maybe sun care product on the body, still you have to also get something like sun glass so you can also protect the eye from the sun. So any part of the body of a person with albinism when exposed to the sun is very dangerous. Sometimes you will see persons with albinism with all this kind of black spots on our body. Melanin in the body. If a person with albinism exposes the body to the sun, then the skin tends to react with the sun. Therefore, the color, the skin will be forced to form its own color. And that is where you see this black spots on the body of some persons with albinism. And this is a warning, if these things begin to appear in the body, normally it comes with blisters, then it tends to source before these things come. So at the same spot, if you see that the same point where these black spots are there, there is a sore germinating there, my brother or sister, then there is a danger of being uh, attacked by cancer. And most, in most cases, Persons with albinism, our fear is cancer. Our lifespan is normal like person without albinism. Of course, we have persons with albinism who have lived up to 90, 95, 100 years before. It means I can also live up to that 
number of years before they die. So our lifespan, everything is normal. Just that when we are exposed to the sun, then we tend to kill ourselves earlier. So those of you, excuse me to say, in the farming regions where you always advise your children with feminism to go and farm, I'll beg you to try to help them by helping them to work even under the, uh, the sheet. Maybe early in the morning, the person can go and do something. When the sun begins to come out, then you ask the person to stop and then come home. Now, recently, Hassan Ayaga unfortunately made a renewed statement about the cause of albinism. But the truth is that animals, ants, and even plants, they also have albinism. The person, all protocol reserved, ladies and gentlemen, I will still stand here and say thank you to everybody for giving me yes and still advise persons with albinism and children, the families of persons with albinism, to help us protect our skin under the sun. Give them the baton of an office to work for a two-year term of office until organization is being revised. By the far best in me, I'll ask board member who is raising the chair to say a few words to them and then allow them to sit. Mr. Chair. Thank you very much. Uh, as of one and a half years, I say that this region is special to us. Nana. Yeah. I don't know, but the level of organization that we have seen in this region is, is really, really good. So in Accra, we look forward to the team in Rong and Hapo, and we take a lot of inspiration from them. Always when we call the other regions, we tell them, please do like this, do like this. And it is because of this that we decided to come to Sunyani this year. This is the second uh, celebration we are having, the uh, UN Awareness. This is the second, but we must come here. And I was telling Sister Joy this morning when we were coming on the float, that we are coming here to learn. We are coming to learn. So the team that we have put together, I'm already, I'm confident that you are going to continue the good work that you are already doing. The weather actually am for your company on us. I will be here for the ABDCC. Nana is grateful to the Most High God for bringing us to this level. Na afe ada penifua ebe bua mai di jumei enso ase and all the big men and women who have made it possible by way of today's program. Did you uh, executive director ah uh, obua ma se jumei di eba so e usmiya hai. Ruhano ni a elia enso ye nya ni patuto a miti jumei di epi. Ama a Gilibia, one more seven, three, four, one, and so on. And we are the entire media. The sad aspect of the program was that we did not get many more people to be part of it. If you take a look at the program, there were a lot of dignitaries that were supposed to be here, but they were all absent. Now, some of my, some of my, 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 uh, even in their absence, Nana has the strongest belief that uh, they will get to know what happened here through the power of the media. Now, uh, we all were witnesses to what uh, the teacher, the person of Mr. Wahab, dedication that he gave on <coughs> albinism, it was so refreshing, and Nana has learned a lot from it, and I hope you also did the same. 
Aka a good reset and put a more He even went to the extent of saying that even animals, they have what is known as albinism, including plants. A chesser, a so it means albinism is not a disease. If you want to know, be out. Near here, I say, Ube in a tea, a man in a pie day, a hundi away a day. What Nana is saying is that so there is leadership qualities in all of you. And then I'll be so glad if from here you take it upon yourself that you are not a different human being. Don't demean yourself. Et tu me mana hinfia, na et tu as a mamra, et ni dachia, et wunipi, et tu as assassiné, 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 uh, human rights activists, you know. And you know, your sorry, Gina, your cassette, or him, Pia, ah, or Bayas, not a chance as a sort of Kuna. So, if you say, Nippana, or the Womoson, or to me, you almost see. Uh, the stress in the voice of a German tells it all. And according to him, human beings are dynamic, we are not static. So if we have some cultural practices in the past that held good, and today times have changed, we should move forward. So things like trochosy, female genital mutilations, and any other of our traditions and customs that are not